Hi, welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you a feature that we added to Family Browser version 3 and enhanced it slightly in Family Browser for 2012 and it is our Type Catalog Generator. So out of the box Type Catalogs are just a text file and if you want to create them you have to know the format and the syntax of it, um, a lot of commas and um, it needs to be done correctly else it won't work at all. Um, we've made a graphical user interface that um, clears that up so you don't need to know all that it just does it all in the background and a simple and easy way to add edit and create type catalogs so what I've got here is just a blank project with nothing in it at all no doors or anything and I've created a a folder um, which I've called type catalog for this demonstration. Now if you want to um, know how that's done just follow one of our beginning tutorials or setup tutorials and you'll see how that is done. Now I've got a door here um, which is just out of the box it comes with Revit called an interior single flush and it's a New Zealand one so it's just straight out of the box but I do know it's got four different types in that in that door family. Now the beauty with creating a type catalog is when you insert a family with a type catalog you just insert the one type so you keep your project file nice and clean and you only have available the types that have been loaded whereas if I click on this here it will load all four types into this project even if they're not even being used. So to create a type catalog normally you would have to type in notepad or excel or something the correct format and then you'd be able to um, insert the type but what we're going to do here is just right mouse click over top of this family go to family options and go create catalog now because it was a 2011 family it's just upgraded that to 2012 it's going through opening it up and it's found all the types and all the parameters of this door family so we've got the type names in the first column and then we've got all the parameters all filled out so for a door I want to control and create a type catalog that only has I want to control the width and the height so I can actually delete all these other parameters other than the width and the height now to do that I simply double click on the header and delete the ones that I don't want so I'm looking for the height parameter which I'll leave and here comes the width parameter which I'll leave and I'm going to delete all the rest all the other parameters now that's not deleting the parameters out of the door it's just deleting them out of the text file now this type is uh, it's gone the width by the height now in the 2012 version I can drag that column over and I'll have it width times height just so it matches up nicely here so now if I go save catalog it recognizes that the original family had more than one type in it so it's giving us the option here to delete all the types except for one and it will ask for the name so it's just a way of tidying up that family file no point having all those types there because the type catalog has been created you can ignore it and go no you don't want to delete them but I'm going to go yes and I want the default type to be called default and I'm going to go OK and accept that and that's going away deleting out those types do I want to replace the family file yes I do and it's done it and it has created the type catalog when I move my mouse over top of it now I have the options of choosing the types that I've created now I can easily go back and edit that type catalog now since it's created and add more types so if I go family options edit catalog and I'm going to put in test type and this is going to be a huge door so that it is plainly obvious and simply go save catalog and now that is available to me in test type now if I put a wall in just have this collapsing I go and choose my test type because it's never been loaded into this project it's a blank project it's gone away and loaded that family and there I go and I've placed it now if I select that family it's 
test type it is only inserted that type of door if I go and I'll just stretch that out go and get one of the other types that was pre-made so now if I select that door we've got the two types so as easy as that to create type catalogs I can easily right mouse click go edit catalog I can press the delete on there to delete types obviously I can add more types um, and the only other thing really is I can also recreate the type catalog so say I've deleted I want to control also the width of the panel I know there's a parameter in there I can right mouse click here go family options and go recreate catalog and it'll bring in all the different types all the different parameters again and the types that are within this project okay so if I go through and delete the ones I'm pretty sure there's a panel width I think it'll be this thickness here okay test type 2 width um, we go. and we'll make that 100 go save catalog no in that case that time now got test type 2 there we've got the oops to put a door on top of a door now I'm controlling the width of the panel there as well so it's easy to recreate the type catalog as well is I've never needed to go into the um, text file and edit anything there's one other thing family options edit catalog depending whether you're in a metric or imperial um, project will give you the options if you're imperial be inches up here instead of millimeters you can actually mix and match now I can select millimeters and go to inches and it'll do the conversion for me from millimeters to inches and vice versa and I can go back also I can um, type in metric inches and at 90.5 it will do the conversion to 90 and a half so there's quite a lot of options there and it's doing a lot of checking in the background to make sure everything is correct so if I go save catalog there I go to the to my C drive to the project folder where this is demos um, that's a text file that's been created it's put in the in the correct place and that is the format of the text file that um, family browser is creating so that's our type catalog generator nice and easy no need to edit text files no need to copy text files around it puts it all in the correct place for you so you can start using straight away um, you don't even need the family loaded in your project you can extract that um, make your catalog and then move on to the next one without it even being in the project so hope that might be of some use to you